Hello, hi, welcome back to my course on enhancing soft skills and personality. So, we are on the module related to health and we started with the first unit on the importance of health as well as the relationship between health and personality. In the next two units, uh, that is unit 2 and unit 3 of week 7, we will try to learn how to manage health. And in this unit in particular, let us look at the importance of exercise. Okay. This is lesson number 32 and managing health 1 importance of exercise. Before we actually go to the lesson, let us take a quick look of the highlights of the last lesson. In the last lesson, we discussed about the significance of health and its impact on one's personality. We learned that the health condition of a person determines the liveliness and enthusiasm of a person. And when a person is ill, the body language of the person will not show confidence and the face will not radiate with energy. Employers crucial decisions in appointing people depend on various health factors. Besides, certain jobs demand fitness on the work front, which an unfit person will not be able to cope with. Healthy individuals are considered to be disciplined, hardworking, controlled, balanced and are aware of what is good and bad for them. Moreover, they are dependable and reliable unlike their ill counterparts whom the employers cannot count on for taking a lead role in important events. So, I uh, gave you examples such as at the last moment a person in terms of ill health cannot be relied upon because at the last moment something can come, some kind of disease and the person has to be admitted in a hospital. So, the event manager uh, finds it a major uh, problem in running that event. So, uh, these are reasons why employers generally try to avoid people uh, who do not have sound health and they try to take clues from uh, your body language, the way you uh, perform yourself in the interview and all that. So, companies are careful about choosing people with healthy habits because unhealthy habits such as addiction to smoking cigarettes can cost them a fortune. Employers are happy with able individuals who show reliability in carrying important documents or valuables and use their physical strength to protect them from getting stolen. Overall, it was clear that the time one gives for maintaining one's health will pay rich dividends in the long run. So, that is what we learnt in the last lesson and in this lesson, we will try to know and understand how we can manage health. And to start with, as I said, we will try to understand the importance of exercise and how you can make that as a routine and make it part and parcel of your life and internalize exercise as such. If you look at health as such, <coughs> some people have a wrong impression that health is something to do with just body. But if you go to the actual definition given by an international organization like the World Health Organization who it defines health as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So, the common misperception about health is that it is something to do with the body, only physical and the other thing is health means absence of disease or absence of some kind of infirmity. Health is not only that or not just that. It is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. So, physical you have to of course, do exercise, mental you can regulate in terms of uh, your uh, mental stress by using yoga or uh, meditation. Social well-being automatically comes when you are uh, emotional well-being is 
boosted up in terms of your physical and mental well-being. In huge pursuits of uh, mental activities these days, often people take for granted their health and fail to manage their bodies. So, timely upkeep of body is required for preventing it from untimely malfunctioning. So, the body is also like a machine and if you do not take care of it regularly and then if you push it too much beyond the point, so suddenly it will start malfunctioning and you will not be able to recover it so easily because you had uh, actually exhausted it beyond a point. However, any amount of stress can be withstood if the body is maintained in a healthy manner. So, the body breaks down, collapses due to excessive stress or due to excessive pressure exerted on it physically. Usually, it is sent in the form of stress, but any amount of stress can be withstood if the body is maintained in a healthy manner. If you maintain it in a healthy manner, so suddenly when the stress comes, so you will be able to protect yourself from stress. Now, today surprisingly, even people without any bad habits succumb to terminal diseases such as cancer for example. So, you hear of cases where uh, suddenly people report to you uh, with this alarming news that uh, they were uh, detected for cancer. And unfortunately, these are those people who are like teetotalers and uh, they never had any bad habits and they were eating only good vegetables and fruits, uh, doing regular exercise and then what went wrong. Now, it was found that mostly it is owing to pollution which is affecting their lungs and then other body parts and pesticides which are used in food products, preservatives which are used in food products. So, they are also responsible. Now, this only makes it imperative that we should take extreme care of our body because even when you take care of it, you are helpless before an environment that is highly polluted and the food that you take, there is no guarantee that it is free from pesticides, which is likely to uh, give you any kind of terminal diseases. So, when that is the case, you need to build up your immunity, you need to develop strength and stamina. So, that is why it is important to manage your health by regular exercise. Now, look at the body. The body is the only place where the life essence or the soul or whatever form of life rests. So, only in the body whatever you call as life can rest. Now, once the body gets diseased, contaminated, polluted or affected by some disease and then slowly let us say the body starts uh, getting deteriorated and uh, gets finally affected by any kind of uh, disease. So, then the life form leaves the body. We call that as death, but that is the physical death of the body. The machine has just stopped and uh, from malfunctioning, it has just stopped functioning. So, to retain life energy in the body and to make full use of it, one should keep the body fit by regular exercise. What is exercise? Exercise is any activity that involves exerting your muscles in various ways to keep yourself fit. Otherwise, muscle will reach a condition called muscle atrophy. That is, it becomes very stable and fixed and it will lose its flexible nature. It will not have resilience. And then when it is losing its resilience and flexibility, you will get muscle pull, you will get pain, you will get spasms and so on. So, it can be any form of physical activity like the basic walking, slightly activated jogging or cycling, swimming, playing any outdoor games. 
not the indoor card games or carom, which consume very less energy and uh, calories, but any outdoor games that you pursue actively. So, that comes under exercise, but the most important point is that it has to be consistent. So, you cannot start something and leave it. So, if you do that consistently, so then it will help you to maintain your health in a very uh, good condition. If you can add exercise with something else like yoga and meditation, it will help you to safeguard yourself from stress that attacks you at unprepared moments. Because exercise is usually for the body, although it uh, gives energy to the mind, but combined with exercise, if you can add yoga and supplement that with meditation. So, your mind also remains calm and peaceful and it is safeguarded from any uh, attack from stress. So, regular exercise and add that with yoga and meditation. And then the next question is that what time you have to do the exercise to make it beneficial. Now, exercise as such doing it any time is beneficial whether uh, it is uh, morning, afternoon, evening, night. So, when you exercise it is beneficial. In fact, uh, you will hear about uh, famous personalities who have developed their physique, who have developed uh, let us say uh, a uh, six pack body and all that. So, they are known for exercising all the time even while uh, let us say watching TV. So, they may be having a, a kind of exercise that is kept at home, some kind of equipment that can be used for uh, cycling okay, or any active form is pursued instead of just literally lying on the couch. So, they do not waste a single moment for exerting themselves in terms of exercise. So, on the one hand when I say that you can exercise any time because exercise itself is important, but on the other hand there are many uh, studies, research and then uh, factors to prove that morning exercise is the most beneficial one or at least more beneficial than other exercises. So, as I said although you can go for exercise as per a convenient time, you will gain optimum benefit out of exercise if you are able to do it in the morning hours. So, some people will say that oh it is very difficult because I have to leave as early as 7 o'clock to my office. So, the point is try to get up slightly early than the time you get up normally and keep at least half an hour 45 minutes for exercise and reduce the time that you go to uh, bed that is the time before you go to bed. So, that will help you to balance your normal active time. Instead of uh, waking awake late at night for one more hour, so you can sleep early and then add that time in the morning hours and use it for exercise. So, you will be able to gain optimum benefit for one more reason, it is not just like getting up and then energizing you in the morning. When you go out and then rise along with the rising sun, so you get your supply of vitamin D from the sun and then get energized from the morning itself. So, it is being told especially people who are living in cold countries or people who are uh, spending most of the time in cold weather even in India and if they are not exposed to sunlight at all, all the time they are uh, in dark spaces and then with dimly lit light and then when they go out it is on car covered. So, they are never exposed to sun. So, they can confront this problem of vitamin D deficiency. So, in order to avoid that, it is suggested that at least 20 minutes you should expose especially in the early morning hours, so that you uh, fill your quota of vitamin D. 
So that is really good if you can even just walk around uh, uh, the nearby vicinity and then exposing yourself to the sun even for 20 to 30 minutes, it is going to be very beneficial in the long run. But having said this, so some of you may start and then again uh, uh, occasionally you may discontinue exercise and then you prolong resuming that. So, when you start it, resuming exercise is again very important. Okay, one may be compelled to discontinue exercise owing to change in weather conditions such as sudden heavy rain, stormy weather. So, it is not safe to go out and uh, walk in the open air. So, you would like to be inside or some pressing commitments. So, you have to fill some uh, uh, important pending activities, you have to finish it and then you have to stretch your uh, working hours. So, you are not able to get up early in the morning. So, you are not able to do that is fine. So, occasionally if it happens it is ok, but you should not make that form as a bad habit and then you just stop exercising at all. So, it is important that one resumes exercise at the earliest, ok, the earlier the better. So, I will come to this point again. Meanwhile, those who feel that it is very difficult to start exercising at all. So, I would like to give some tips for going for regular exercise. First, understand that the major difficulty is in commencing any form of exercise. Either you need to decide overnight and then just at that fit of the moment you have to decide tomorrow morning at 5.30 I will get up and I will go to the ground. I may jog, I will do cycling, I will do yoga, whatever it is or I will play some uh, uh, games, but then I will just go out and then start it. So, that moment you decide keep the alarm and then get up and then go. So, that is one quick and efficient way of uh, starting the exercise. In some case, you may not be decide that quickly, especially let us say if you are getting up at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So, slowly then you have to advance your uh, getting up time. So, 9 o'clock has to become 8 o'clock, 8 has to become 7.30, then 7, then 6.30, 6. So, for some people the gradual uh, decrease in time. So, that can help them to slowly manage any form of uh, exercise. However, you should understand that the difficulty is all in terms of starting. It is all said that it is even till reaching the place where you want to exercise. So, it may be a uh, ground, it may be a stadium, it may be a park, it may be a gym or it may be just going to the nearest uh, river, lake or uh, uh, seashore or mountainous area. It is just still reaching that spot you need will and determination. Once you reach automatically the surrounding, the fresh air okay, and then the birds chirping and then the scenery that you see around that will motivate you to do something. So, the trick is to just make you get up and start and then reach that spot where you want to commence your exercise. Somehow you have to push yourself up to that point the rest will be uh, taken care of automatically. Now, in case you find it very difficult to handle it at individual level, the next uh, suggestion is to join groups. At least you have one friend, at least you have one colleague or even your uh, business partner or your spouse or your brother or sister with somebody and or a group you maintain and then you decide that you will uh, uh, go to the gym or go for walking at this particular time and then you call each other, meet at a point. So, one day even if you miss or you feel like missing, the peer group pressure will work on you. So, the other friend will say, no, no, come let us uh, uh, instead of walking for 45 minutes, let us walk for 30 minutes. So, you will be feeling somewhat embarrassed to say no and that will put pressure on you to maintain consistency. So, joining groups is good, 
for uh, motivating you in case you do not have self motivation. And the third tip is that keeping a goal in mind such as if you are uh, planning to thin down, if you are planning to reduce your weight, planning that I am going to do exercise particularly because I want to reduce my weight or let us say you have diabetes and doctor has suggested that you should walk at least this 10,000 uh, steps each day. So, I want to keep my diabetes in control. So, keeping a goal in mind and trying to achieve a target. So, in, in terms of uh, reducing weight, you can say that I want to reduce 20 kilos before my marriage in the next year. So, one year time I have. So, I will start reducing at least uh, 2 to 3 kilos each month and then let me see uh, that whether I am able to reduce more towards the end and somehow I should reduce 20 kilos within this uh, year. So, keeping this goal and setting a target for achieving this goal in terms of the limit of your exercise, in terms of the time in which you want to achieve the target, that will help you remain motivated. But the other interesting point you should know is, once your body gets habituated to it and once your mind internalizes it and once your circadian rhythm is reset and adjusted, let us say you were all the time sleeping till 8 o'clock and then slowly you change this habit and then started uh, getting up at 5 and then uh, uh, having a coffee and then uh, refreshing yourself and reaching the venue at 5.30 for your exercise. Now, in about one month and one and a half months, this habit will be internalized and even if you want to give it up, this will give you prompting by making you feel restless the day you miss uh, reaching the venue and doing some exercise. So, the trick again is to get this internalized, get this as a spontaneous activity, so that even if you leave it, your own body should be telling you, oh you skipped it, I am feeling restless, I am not happy with what you have done today. So, tomorrow take me again and slightly do more, so that I am happy. So, if that inner drive is triggered automatically and if you help to do that, so that nobody can stop you from uh, doing exercise. Now, on days when you cannot again do really exercise because of some work pressure, because of an important event or as I said uh, any kind of uh, uh, disastrous situation that forced you to exert more time on work and minimize your uh, regular uh, exercise. Now, on those days when you miss your exercise, supplement it by other alternatives. So, instead of uh, going by car or bike to your work, what you can do is you can just walk, you can walk to your office if it is walkable or you can cycle, if you can go by cycle, slightly go let us say 15 minutes or 20 minutes in advance and then when you reach the office instead of uh, going by lift, you can climb stairs and sooner or later what will happen when you start doing uh, these supplemented activities, sometimes you may enjoy your supplemented activities. So, eventually you can make them regular also. This I am saying apart from your uh, regular exercise, you may resume your regular exercise, but still you feel that apart from going to gym and then jogging on the treadmill. So, I also feel that I should walk to the office or cycle to the office okay, and uh, I should instead of just uh, having bath at my uh, bathroom, I should also go to the swimming pool and enjoy taking a swim and then having another bath in the evening or so. So, these supplemented activities will also add up to give you that extra boost in managing your health. Now, if all these things are not working out, try to make it attractive, try to make exercise a fun. 
Today there are so many electronic gadgets and use the latest gadgets to monitor your health. So, today you can use your mobile, there are uh, very good apps. I do not want to advertise apps, you yourself can explore so many apps. You can use them on your mobile, you can use them on your watch. These days these uh, electronic gears have come by which you can connect your mobile with the watch and then track your steps basically at least the 10,000 for a day count. You can check your uh, uh, heart rate, you can check your pulse rate okay. and then you can even set alerts. So, which will tell you that oh you are sitting for a long time, why do not you take a quick walk. So, that will keep you uh, motivated and at the same time uh, if you walk your uh, 10,000 uh, uh, steps for that day you will get a uh, icon. So, that comes as if a person rewarding you. So, it will show you a cup and it will say that you have achieved your target. So, that will again motivate you in a very funny manner or in case you are interested in uh, your looks and appearance and then uh, you are interested in uh, shopping and all that then you should promise yourself a new running shoes or sports wear provided you start exercising regularly. You can tell yourself that okay, if I complete at least 45 days, so then I will go for better shoes and something that is costly if I uh, go for 6 months. Okay. So, you tell yourself, promise yourself and then treat yourself with uh, this kind of uh, uh, costumes. The other interesting way by which you can uh, make it attractive is by participating in local competitions. So, people organize local competitions even for walking, cycling and then there are marathons and then occasionally you may win also. So, you will feel encouraged by small victories if you are able to participate in local competitions. But the most important point is that once you have formed, gained a kind of rhythm by your continuous and then uh, consistent efforts, you should avoid breaking the rhythm. You should avoid breaking it especially for very minor reasons, particularly a slight cold, light fever, slight headache, some sneezing. Now, these are sometimes convincing excuses for giving up exercise for some time, some days, but then you should not yield to uh, this kind of uh, uh, convincing excuses. In fact, they are lame excuses. If you really want to make yourself stronger, you should ignore this slight ones. Of course, if your uh, fever is very high and then even you feel very weak, so it is not advisable to uh, go to the gym and then exert yourself, but you should realize that all minor ailments will disappear with persistent exercise. Okay. Of course, you can minimize the intensity if you really feel less energetic on those days. So, let us say if you walk for 45 minutes at least 15 to 20 minutes you should take a quick walk, so that the rhythm is not broken. And just before concluding, I would like to give you one more tip. So, when you exhaust yourself, uh, let us say in terms of jogging particularly and then uh, if you are let us say if you are taking rounds on some stadium and then uh, first day you take 2 rounds, second day 3, 4 and then slowly you reach up to 10 rounds you will find that you will start palpitating and then uh, you will feel tempted to open your mouth and then use the mouth for breathing. Now, you should not inhale or exhale using the mouth. So, this is very important because even uh, when you find it difficult to exhale, inhale through your nostrils, you should avoid using your mouth. You should keep your mouth shut and use only the nostrils for breathing and that is the key to reducing weight. Because when you open it and uh, inhale 
as well as exhale using your mouth, especially while inhaling, you are inhaling lot of air and then that is not going to help you to reduce your weight. But you may reduce the amount, but then you avoid uh, taking so much of air by opening your mouth, but that will also help you to build your stamina. So, with this note, let me conclude with some thoughts for you to think it over further from uh, very good uh, philosophers and uh, eminent uh, people. The first one is from Arnold Glasgow. He says that your body is the baggage you must carry through life. So, your body is the baggage you must carry through life. The more excess the baggage, the shorter the trip. So, the more excess particularly in terms of weight. So, gaining weight, becoming obese, gaining fat, getting cholesterol, then added with cholesterol you get uh, blood pressure and then along with blood pressure, diabetes, joints. So, the more excess the baggage, the shorter the trip. Okay. And look at the next uh, famous quote from Thomas Jefferson. He says, we never repent of having eaten too little. In fact, this is given as a tip for those people who have uh, stomach related uh, problems, uh, those who get stomach upset very easily. So, it is suggested that they should slightly eat less instead of stuffing the stomach with uh, food items. So, instead of filling it or instead of overfilling the stomach instead of overeating. Because as it is said, we never repent of having eaten too little, but we always repent of having eaten too more, too much than what is required. And the last one from uh, the famous uh, philosopher Socrates, he says that the rest of the world lives to eat while I eat to live. And it is a question that you need to ask whether you like the rest of the people, you live to eat that means you keep on eating. There are uh, uh, people like they always keep something in their hand. So, some kind of chocolates or some kind of uh, cookies in their hand and some food item in the car, some um, items for munching in the office. So, wherever they go, the fridge is stuffed with lot of uh, food items and any slight opportunity they keep eating. So, they say that they enjoy eating, but then it looks like as if their entire life is dependent on eating only. Whereas, you should ask yourself whether you would like to be like Socrates who says that I eat to live, which means for him eating is only a need, a basic uh, requirement and that has to be fulfilled so that you live your life satisfactorily. So, do not make that as a predominating one, so that it destroys the comfort and happiness of your life itself. So, with this thought, let me uh, just tell you to go through these two reference books. One is Are You Killing Yourself, Mr. Executive and the other one, especially if you want to uh, reduce your weight, Thinking Thin is uh, the book that I already explained in the previous one. So, thank you for uh, watching this video. I will come back to you with one more uh, thought on managing health and in the next video. So, let us focus on how you can manage your diet as well as how you can manage your sleep. So, till then have a good sleep, eat well, eat sufficiently well and then stay happy, stay healthy. Thank you.